So now let's take a short demo on, on setting up some initial profiles and such for a Mac. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to start in settings because you want to build settings before you build a collection. So I'm going to call this Mac OS configuration and we'll configure some stuff. So we'll do airdrop, allow that to be enabled. Let's go add some more stuff in here. So you'll see here that by doing this, you can only do one profile per, which is actually kind of interesting if you think about it, because it's a, a good best practice tenant, and I think it, it really helps. And we'll go back and rename that one after. So we're going to call this Mac OS Gatekeeper. So we're just going to, we'll just set up a few things. Go App Store only. As you know, we're just doing testing. And then we'll do one more. Go Mac OS Energy Saver. Select that, hit next. We'll just leave everything enabled. So we now that we have some configurations, let's go build a collection. So I'm gonna add I want to call this IT users. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a user group. I'm going to, let's add our IT users user group. Notice it's got a really nice looking split, uh, visual UI, so which is kind of nice. So now we're going to go back to apps. Let's add some apps. Okay, so we're going to add Xcode. Let's add Outlook. I do like it tells you how many licenses are available before you do it, which is really neat. And now let's add these settings we just created. So we're going to add this, add, add, add. Which is nice the way that they kind of overlay that whole thing. And then you just hit save. And so that is set up. And you can see it's really cool. You can see little visual icons, who added it. It's So overall, I think it's, it's a really great thing. So we're going to go into my account. And from here, we're going to click Enroll Devices. I'm going to say company own Mac. And let's send instructions. And so now we've built the profile and we've now sent them that communication to say, now you should go ahead and enroll your Mac. So let's take a look at what that, that email looks like before we stop. So you see here the email is actually really minimalist, which is pretty neat. So it's going to say, we use Apple Business Essentials. If you're currently using a, a company on Mac at CenterX, please use this link to enroll your device. And when we get back, we're going to go through one of those enrollments.